Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my Zoom call. So we're going to help you all get out of trouble. Uh, some of you have over leveraged, some of you are trading too many pairs, and the EA has gotten away with you and your accounts uh, don't look so good and your drawdown is quite huge and we need to fix that for you. So let me help you and show you how to close out trades. Um, partial trades so you can use the profit from the gold ea to start closing out trades of your um of your other ea okay so let me show you uh what i do uh let me call up my my account okay so firstly what i've done is and let me just admit some people okay firstly what i've done is i've set up my chart so that I can read my chart, so that I know when a pair is reversing and uh, when, um, when I should be closing out trades uh, in a loss um, or in a profit, okay? So let me look at this account here and see what's happening. Right, so we've got NZD here. So let's check out the NZD USD chart. Um, so let's check it out. Okay, so you can see where is her? Okay, so we're going to close out these trades in NZD USD in a profit. Why are we going to do that? Okay, now we're going to do that because you can see if you went through my, my course, you would know that the second candle has opened above the eight exponential moving average, which means that the pair is now in a northerly direction. So what you can do is you can close out the trades that are in profit. These three trades, you can close them in a profit. Now, generally, I would leave the robot on so that when the pair reverses, when the second candle opens below the eight exponential moving average, if the EA was connected, a new trade would start, okay? And you could begin a new sequence or continue with the sequence. But because she's probably got too many pairs loaded, um, she probably ran into a problem with having uh, reaching her 200 trade limit. So let's just check what's going on. Your account. So this is a fantastic indicator. It's called eye ex exposure. It tells you what trades, what currencies, what's happening with each currency. So how many deals are open with each currency. So I'm not quite sure why on this account there's a big gap between here and here. And I can see that you've used a lot exponent, which I don't recommend at all for novice traders. Um, that is not a good idea. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the account and we're going to close these trades out. So on a phone, okay, you would swap from right to left on the number to get the drop down menu. Okay, now, um, can, can someone unmute themselves? So whose account is this? This is Shireen's. So let's unmute Shireen. Uh, wait, uh, Shireen, let me unmute Shireen. Okay. Hi. Okay, Shireen, are you unmuted? I am unmuted. I'm unmuted. Shireen, can you hear me? Shireen. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay, cool. Who's that? Mark? Okay, how's it? How are you? I'm good, and you? Okay, so can you see what I'm doing? So I need you to like, guide me. Can you see what I'm doing? So you swap clear. from right to left to get the drop-down menu. These, this menu will only be here if you have loaded MT4 on your phone with your trader password. You get two passwords. You get an investor password, and you get a trader password. The investor password is a, a, a non-trading password. So that's, you can share your account number, 
your FPS real server number and your investor password, okay, with potential people. I don't like doing that. I prefer giving FX Blue links, okay? That way they can log into your account and they can see what's happening. I don't like doing it that way, okay? I prefer to have the trader password on my phone so that when I'm away from my PC, I can do stuff, okay? So I need to phone Shireen and ask her if I can, if I can close our trades here. Shireen. Can you hear me? Okay, so I need to phone her. So you guys have to wait for me. I'm just, I'm joining on my phone because my computer doesn't want to do the um, mic thing. Can I close our trades on your account? Yes, I oh. give you permission to do that. Okay, thank you. Okay, so you all heard that. I can close our trades on her account. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to her account and we're going to, can you see now why I want to close these trades? Do you understand why I want to close these trades? Yes, but the thing is that those are the profit trades. So when yes. the entire trade get finished, you're going to be in, in um, a loss. You could because be because those are the ones that make the profit. Correct. They are the ones that make the profit, and that's why you need to leave the EA on so that if the currency retraces, okay, new trades will open. Right now it's going north, which is in the opposite direction of what we want it to do. We want the, the currency to go south down here to the take profit. So if I close sure. out these trades in a profit. Okay, and it carries on going up. Okay, what will happen is, let me do that again. What will happen is, is that um, I would then uh, close out more trades or new trades will then open. Are you with me? Okay. Are you with me? So I want to take advantage of, these, of this money here. I don't want the currency to go north and then these figures go to red again. Why would I want to do that? Do you get me? Yes. Uh, would you would you only do that uh, when the market goes uh, against the, the direction of our trade? It's a choice. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Mm. So it's more manual trading, but I only do it if I've over leveraged, if I haven't over leveraged, then I leave it. I'm not interested okay, in agreed. trading and I'm not interested yeah. in looking at my account and I'm not interested in looking at charts and reading charts and, 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 and working this out. Okay. This is only if you've over leveraged and you need to take advantage of the blue trades to lower your exposure. Understood. Uh, Alan, just a question. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rihanna, Alan, just a question. If you if you talked about over leverage, is that when your your drawdown is is is, is quite high? Is that when you yes, that's what uh, over leverage? Yes. So over here you can okay, see thanks. we've gone sixty percent. So we need to fix that urgently. Okay, thanks. Okay, because she doesn't have cash flow to um uh to fund her accounts. Okay, so it's going up a bit. But let's check what so it is going down, and we do have a red candle. But the second candle has opened above the eight exponential moving average. According to my analysis, when the second candle opens above the eight exponential moving average, we're going north. I, I'm, I, I, I close our trades. So it's actually not. It's actually one, two. This is the third. She should have closed our trades here, right here. Okay, she would have been in a much bigger profit. So she's left money on the table. Are you with me? Are you all following me? Yes. So we're going to yes, close it out. So how are we going to close it out? We're going to hit the tick. And it's going to come up with a new, a new thing. Now, if we wanted to close out a partial trade, okay, you change this number here. So let's say we only wanted to close out... Um, we only want to close out 0 0.01, which will mean that what's left is 1.42.
So here's your closed profit. You're going to make $1.37. Okay? Yes. Right? But if we look at the trade history over here for the day, you've made 2,532 cents. So we can close out 2,532 cents. That's what we can close out. That's what we have to work with, which will lower your drawdown. Okay, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to close this and I'm going to show you what's going to happen. This number here, 1.42 is going to go to 1.41. So let's do it. Let's close out 0 0.01 of that, of this trade. 0 0.01, close, close. Right, let's go back. You can see there, where is it? It's probably at the bottom. What's going on? There it is. 1.41. Okay, so we've closed a partial trade, not the full trade. Are you with me? Yes. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're just going to close this trade out, and then we're going to go and look at the rest of your account and try and see what we can do here. Okay? So unfortunately, this account is in a bit of a, a state, but we'll fix it. We will fix your okay. account. Okay, so here's the much. gold we're going to leave. Okay, so here's another one, GJ. So let's go to GJ. Right, so now we're in a sell position. What do you think I should do? After what I've just said, what do you think I should do? Do I close our trades or do I not close our trades? Uh, I like um, from Okay, so let's do it differently. Let me, let me, let's do, let's open up the text. Um, where do I do the chat? I want you to type in the chat box what you think I should do. We've got positive trades here. Do I close them in positive or do I leave the trades open? Give me your suggestions. Just put. Uh, sorry, Alan, for cl put clarification, the three MAs. Yeah. yeah. Mine, I've got a, I've are got, all of them the eight. I've, they all eights. I've got a close and open and a um a, a, a low, a high, and a and a close. Okay, so they below below the close. Yes. So what do you think I must don't answer? I want you to type it. Leave open. Okay? okay. We have one leave open. If you think I should leave it open, tell me I need to leave it open. Leave open. Okay, Shireen, why why are these people saying leave it open? Because it's going on a downward trend. Correct. You're, but, but why? How do you know that you're going in a downward trend? Because there's more than three count candles that's already going, <clears throat> excuse me, um, down. Below the eight exponential moving average. Yes. Okay, cool. You're correct. Okay. I would leave these trades. Okay. As soon as the second candle opens above the eight exponential moving average, I would immediately close out some of the trades based on my profit for the day. So I've already up 2,899 cents. Okay. So let's go and close some trades that look shitty. Okay, so let's go through the account. Let's go through the trades and let's go see some large lot sizes. We've got ones there. We've got sixes. Oh, it's not so bad. Okay, so let's start with the ones. Okay, so here's the one lot. Okay, and you always start with the, the, the last trade. Okay, the first trade that was opened, because that's at the highest. Let's go there. So you can understand. Okay. Okay, it has the highest drawdown. It has the highest drawdown. So when if the currency goes down further, your drawdown will get larger quicker because the price is so far away from the take profit. Are you with me? Okay. Yes. Right. So we've got 2,899. Let's just close it. Close the full amount. 2,200 gone. Okay. So now let's go there. We've got 679 left. What's the drawdown? Didn't go down much. You'll see that in the next couple of days, when you do this, it'll start disappearing. It's already gone down from 59... It's gone down 
You okay. keep doing this with your gold EA, you're going to whittle your drawdown and vanish it away okay, until it's like zero, and then you can restart your robot and you can carry on. So you've got a choice now. Okay, You can make profit for the day or you can eliminate all this profit, 670. I like to make profit every day. So I know it's painful closing mm. our trades. I get it. But the point is, is to save your account. You can lose a little bit of money or you can lose all of your money. So I choose mm. to lose a little bit of money. But I also want to make money at the same time. So I'll close out some of the cuck trades and I'll just... Um, I'll make six, 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 uh, $6. That's what I'll make today. $6. So on the okay. account, let's look at the account. There's $1,300 in the account. Six divided by 1,300 is uh, half a percent times 100. You've made 0.46% for the day. Are you happy? So let's, let's, okay. let's work that out. Yeah. Okay. Let's work it out. 0.5 times 24 trading days in the month is 12%. Okay. So it's mm -hmm. 1300 times 12% is $156. You've covered the cost of the robot. You've made $8. $8. Okay. Yes, I know it's not the greatest. I know it's not great. Okay. But unfortunately, you've run into a snag. I don't trade one lot on $1,000. On $1,000, I would trade probably half a, half a lot. Maximum okay. one. Okay. Now, the reason this account got out of hand is because I'll predict it. You didn't change your lot size to 0 0.01 when you got to a 10% drawdown. No, I didn't. Okay. So if you had done that, you wouldn't be in a 58% drawdown. This is why I tell okay. you guys, it's absolutely critical Okay, that when you get to between 8 and 12%, you caught this at 25%. I can see you caught it at 25%. Maybe even 30. Mm -hmm. When did you catch it? At 25, 26, <laughs> actually. Okay, 26. So that's when you change. We haven't had a conversation about this. Can you confirm that? Yep. Uh, I, yes. I know what's going on with this account. I can see. How do I know? Because I've been there, guys. I've done this. I've, I've fucked it up so many times, okay, and lost so much money, it would make you sick, okay, I've blown millions on my accounts, when you blow a million rand, you get, it's, it's not the same pit in your stomach as when you blow $1,300, it's very different, very different, so you need to watch, when I say I don't say manage your account, but I say you need to log in once or twice a day, especially if you've got high, draw, uh, high lot sizes, and check your drawdown. You're not managing your account. You're just looking at your drawdown, and you're waiting. So generally, when I set up my EA, I set it up with a high, with a high lot size, okay? Because I know that it's not going to trend in the first, like, a couple of days of me setting up my, my account. So in the first like week, I make a lot of money, okay? Then my drawdown goes up and then I reduce my lot sizes and I start like just ticking it over. So I've made in the first week or two, I've made a lot of money, maybe 30, 40%. And then I start, um, I start reducing my lot sizes. So 30, 40%, uh, you're not getting that anywhere. Nowhere. Mm. No other investments are you going to get that. So I don't recommend you do that. I only recommend you do that if you had a lot of capital. Okay, then you could do that. If you have like $1,000, you can't do that strategy because you need to make money on a monthly basis. And you won't be able to do that if your lot size is 0 0.01. Okay, and that's where a lot of you are. A lot of you are on the lot size of 0 0.01 and you're saying, I'm not making, I'm not covering the cost of the robot. Those that have high equity, $3,000, $5,000, $6,000, they're covering the cost of the robot. But the guys that have like um, smaller amounts, you can't cover the cost of the robot. Okay. And that's why I've added the gold EA to help you 
to now cover the cost of the robo. And that's where your profit comes from. Your profit today comes from your gold. So um, I've got the coolest little EA. Um, I'm going to load it on your, I'm going to load it on your, I'm going to load it. I'm going to, I'm going to pause the share and I'm just going to load that EA for you quickly. What is your account number here? Your uh, 543012. Just give me one second. Let me just load this little EA for you. Um, one second. Yes. Won't take long. So while I'm doing it, you guys can ask questions. And I'll try and answer you. Hello, and I've got a question. When the market closes on a Friday night and opens on a Sunday night, uh, obviously the spreads typically should weigh up. Um, uh, would that affect us only when you actually open the EA or, or put it on or install it onto a new pair? Because usually it should have a few open trades. I mean, I see something like the New Zealand dollar, the, uh, the spread actually goes up to about between 15 and 20 pips. Now. So, so the not the, the one up. point. In. So the reason it goes up is market liquidity. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So what's your question around that? I understand your question. I, I, I mean, uh, in my opinion, I'm just asking. So when a trade opens, when the spread is that, it is only looking for, let's say, five pips or something. But, that, but the that's spread why, is 20. That's why I say, yeah. that's why I say at $5,000, you yeah. should upgrade to a micro account because on micro, your spread is fixed. Yes. Okay. I, I understand that. So, uh, I did open a micro account. Okay. But so then you won't have a problem. Okay, so I need to check that with FPS because I'm sure I, I, I've seen the the spread, especially in on that time it, it goes up, but what? during the day it's fixed. To what? Uh, to like the New Zealand dollar, it, it went up to about I think it was 22 pips. Okay, you need to contact uh, FPS. As far as I understand it, it's fixed at three. Yeah. Okay, okay. so listen, guys. Yeah, the, okay. Area? Sorry, the gold yeah, the gold one is not fixed. I understand that. I saw yeah, my, the gold fixed. one is 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 running. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nope. Okay, so don't trade any of these currencies. Okay, the spread is very high, and uh, you're going to run into shit. So okay, so I'm going to load the chart. This is the chart, and I'm going to uh, check this out. This is such a cool little EA that we, that I had built. So what basically what it does is it works on your comment and it tells you what profit you've made on your EA. Um, gold. Oh, I can't use it because you've got auto trading off. Um, so have you switched off your trading on everything? No, I think the only trading that's open is the gold. Uh, uh, out trading is off there no, on the chart if I look at it. Okay, so let's just go here and switch it on. So this is going to tell me how much profit the EA has made for the day. Okay, and gold has made $1,662. That's what gold has made. Okay, so how you switch on your uh, your comments is you go, you right click over here and you, uh, tick, you check comments. Okay, and then you can see your comments here. And now you can see what's happening. So if I go BF, if I just click on the EA there and I go BF and I click OK, um, then it'll tell me. Hello? Uh, yeah. Hello, we're not I seeing your cool. screen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Uh, I think it's shit. Sorry, <laughs> mate. It told me. Uh, okay, cool. So I've added this, this, this EA. It's a comment EA. So it basically works on the comment. Okay. So... Um, Here's the comment over here. How you get to comments is you right click in this area, okay, and you click comments. You if this is unchecked, then your comment. You enable is, it. You enable it. Okay, cool. So now I can see what made, what uh, EA made profits, but I want to know like how much profit I made without exporting the data. Okay, so how I do that is. I've loaded this EA up and 
in the in the in the comment section yeah, I put BF because it says yeah BF. Okay. And it, if I click OK, it'll work it out automatically and it'll say BF has made $8.70. That's what BF has made. So if I want to know what gold has made, I click over there and I say gold. And it takes a little bit to of time to render, it works it out, and then it'll render in the top left-hand corner. It's just a very nice little EA that we created. If you guys want it, I can put it on your, in your expert section. It's just a nice, nice to have. Alan, sh should you know the comment exactly as no, it stands no, in the comment side? No, just, just something that it can notice it, like gold. Like gold. Don't know why it's taking so long. Yeah. Let's just uh, check it and see. I don't know why it's taking so long. Let's just remove it. Okay, we'll come back to it. It'll work it out. I'll come back to it. Okay, so do you guys have any questions? Are we going to close? I would leave your account now. You've made a little bit of profit. You've made a court um, like uh, 0.4 of a percent for the day. Um, and I would leave it. There's nothing more you can do here. And every day you'll check your profits here. You'll go back to your account. If you want to phone me or you want to uh, just WhatsApp me, um, then we can have a discussion and then I can help you to make an educated decision on what to close out. So maybe, okay, that would be awesome. maybe you'll, you won't make profit this month. Maybe you'll lose a bit of money, uh, but unfortunately you didn't catch it in time. Okay. So we, we need to, you just need to manage it now. Okay. Bye, okay Alan. Thank you very much. So, cool. No problem. So I'm going to delete your uh, account. I'm going to delete your account off my, uh, off my MT4. Okay. Okay. Okay, there you go. I don't have your password or anything. You're welcome to change your password, log in and change your password again. Okay, cool. So does anybody there, you can Thank see you. gold has rendered and it's made $16.62. Okay, it's just a lacquer, lacquer little, e, uh, little EA. Okay, so who wants me to analyze their account? Does anybody want me to analyze their account? Oh, you, nice. can, you, can, you can take mine, Rionia. Uh, what's your... Uh, what's your VPN number? That is the... Let me just check. That's the one that you've sent me in the telegram. Yeah, but your account is fine. Just check I mean, here. Your is low. Okay, but, but just a question. Okay, leave that. But just a question. If I go onto my screen and I click my Euro USD pair, um, so if you click each pair, there's an individual drawdown for that pair. Am I right? Yes. Just give me the account number. User. Okay, let me just uh, just hang on. Five four three, what? Um, yeah, it's uh, five four three zero oh, nine one. Yeah, I'm just asking if you look at my drawdown, man. Eh? Yeah, zero. If you click on the euro US. Yeah, and if you click on the the, the second it's, pair, it's I can't also, see the second it's also pair. Also zero point three one. It's the same. It's the drawdown for your entire account. It's not per pair. If you want to know what your, oh, okay. if you want to know what the individual pair is, then load this I explore. Okay, uh, change the okay. colors to white. It's easier to read. Okay, it's under indicators. It's I explore, and now you can see. You can't see it as a percentage, but you can see it as um, as dollars. So GBP AUD is $4.30. Uh, gold is, is 45 cents. UJ is $1.72. So that's how you would work it out. So you can just divide that by the amount okay, of yeah, that you've got. So in other words, let's look at your equity. You can see that your equity is $2,800. So it's $2.37 divided by $2,800, which is just under... Um, one percent. Okay. So, 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 would you recommend with my equity, I must increase my loss sizes? I don't recommend anything. I'm not a financial advisor. You need to wait for a trend, and then you can make an educated decision. If this was my account, uh, I would, okay. I would, I trade 
0 0.5 per thousand dollars equity. That's what I do. 0 0.5 per thousand okay. dollars equity. So you've got two thousand dollars. So I, if this was my account, I would increase like your euro US dollar to a one lot. That's what I would. Right. Do. Maybe right. maybe um, if I was a novice, I would increase it to zero point five, and wait for a trend, wait to yeah. see what it does, and then after that, make a decision. Okay. All right. Cool. So Thank you bucks, very much. Bucks on the call. So Mark, do you want me to look at your account? Uh, I don't mind. Um, you know, I'm still I'm still uh, exploring it. So that's why I've got lots of pairs. Okay. Um, What's your user number? Alan, um, you can maybe look at mine. And also, I just need to know if I can move What's over that? to my phone. Yeah, you can. Sorry. Alan, can you hear me? Yeah, give me the user number, please. It's 543024. Um. The, the problem I have is I'm only like late at night by my PC, so I need to use this on my phone. Um, uh, but I've tried off this uh, investment investor's account to the real account, but for some reason I can't get it right. Is there something I'm doing wrong with a password maybe? Uh, what happens is that your password lasts two weeks on FBS. <laughs> You need to reset it in FBS, in the FBS portal. So you go log into FBS. All right, the re re reset your, video yeah. that you've seen. Yes. And then you'll be logged okay. out over here as well. So you need to then um, re-log in over here. That's why I create okay. my own password for myself. I don't use that. Right. Okay. So your lot sizes are crazy huge. Um, yeah, the problem is I've had, as you've known, I've done the 12, 14 pair situation. Okay. And I burned my fingers there. Yeah. Uh, I went down now at least to, down to three. So I okay. took my profits okay, so and I closed let's, the let's, oldest let's, trades on the old other pairs. Let's, let's, so uh, now let's, I'm at, at least at three. Let's do an analysis of today and see your profit um, for today. Okay. So today, uh, you've closed out you've closed out trades forty three dollars in a loss why um i basically used some of that and then i went to like two three back two three weeks back my oldest open trades that's in a loss and i started closing them so did you use your profit to close out your i trades? used my profit to go and close losses the oldest ones okay that's fine so you've done a good job so what 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 has your Drawdown reduced from what was it? Um, it was actually higher. It was at one stage, I think, 60%. Okay, so you um, pulled it down. Yes. So, so I amazing. just need to, I think I must just carry on doing that and stop doing my own trades. As you can see, I've done that. Uh, Are you trading just, as you know, well manually on this account? That's what I shouldn't do. Yeah, and I know I got involved there. Yeah, you yeah. shouldn't do that. Yeah. You shouldn't do that. Okay, so you've done a good job. You're closing out your trades from your profits or your gold. You're doing fine. You'll okay. eventually do, windle, do, do, whittle this down to nothing, and then you can restart your robot. You've learned your lesson. I don't think you're going to do, do that. Yeah, lesson. no. Good. Thanks. Okay, cool. Anybody else want me to analyze their account? I've got three minutes left of this, of this call. Yeah, you can do mine. What's the user number? Five four three zero zero one. I assure you, you're going to run into a problem. I, I have luck. It's not even a question. So if we go back to, um, was it Shireen? Uh, what was your user number? Five four three zero three two. Five four three zero one two. Uh, let me quickly check for you. So, so it let me, is. Let me look at my account. Just give me one second, and I'll try and find. Um, I'll try and find. And Alan, you can just have a have a look. You can see what my problem is. What is gold? The drawdown is gold is at fifty eight, uh, nearly sixty dollars. There, it's yes. more than all. It's the only yes, problem I have. Because you're using a lot exponent here. The other ones you're not using a lot exponent. Um, that's why it's like that. So if I keep the lot sizes smaller, on more pairs. 
What's the yeah. difference then if you go on two, just three or four pairs with bigger lot sizes? You can do that. That's a better way of doing it. That's what I'm saying to you. Rather than like having more pairs, rather have less pairs with bigger lot sizes. But the problem is that I had a, I had a real problem for um, the last week. Uh, Euro USD went, um, it went north and it didn't come down. I understand. And I had, sometimes and it so, will do that. And sometimes the pair will trend for like a month and you won't make money for that month. That's but then if you're, only in, if you're only in three, uh, three or four pairs, then you're down on one pair. You've only got three others. Um, that's, that is why I'm, you know, so, so what happened was Euro USD, I just shut it down. Yes. I, you know, I put it on 0 0.01 lots. We're going so to get effective. cut off. Now, We're going to get cut off guys. So I want you to rejoin this, uh, the zoom call because it's very important that you understand this. To yes, I, I saw that. Did you see the gaps? Yes. Yeah. But I mean, if you, if you limit like each pair to like, uh, you set the limit, the max amount of trades to 25 yeah, there, each. There's right? a gap. I ran out of trades, dude. How am I going to get back yeah. here? That's one. That's uh, that's one. That's ten, forty-three. So that's a hundred eighty-four. Uh, eighty-four to ninety-four. That's a hundred. Uh, two hundred and four. That's two hundred. That's three hundred pips. That's the length. Okay, three hundred pips. It's taken from the fifth of April to the nineteenth of. April. It could take me a year to get back down here. To my take profit a year why because i was greedy i had too many pairs open my robot couldn't open trades because this trade this trended this is 50 60 trades over here yeah. just I can't the, 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 the uh, account can't handle it sorry yeah alan i think the people need to understand it's not it's not the ea it is fbs that FBS. limit you on the amount of Correct. trades it's you not can just have FBS, open it's all brokers all brokers yeah. limit you Unfortunately, they don't allow you to, but they do it. They're not there to be your mates. That's why we've got to work within the parameters of, uh, of, of FPS, of the broker and what they, what their parameters are. So now we know that they don't allow it. Uh, we, we need to work around it. So instead of having so many pairs open, rather have fewer pairs. And if the EAs, Let's say you have three pairs, e, 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 Euro, US dollar, EJ, and GJ, okay? And let's say all three pairs go sideways and you're not making money. That's why I gave you the gold EA, because the gold EA makes yeah, but, profit. Yeah, but hang on. Yeah. Hang on. We're looking at my account. Yeah. So, so I know you, the gold, gold, but look at my account. My account is the, the biggest DD is on gold. Yes, but the DD is low. So if we're going to analyze my account... But let's then you analyze need to it analyze as a percentage. Okay, well then analyze it as a percentage, bud. Just hold on. Let me just organize my life here. Okay, so let's look at your equity. You've got $2,100 in there and there's $58 in trades. So 58 divided by 2,100. 58 divided by 2,100. Okay, it's 2%. It's nothing. Yeah, I know, but if gold carries on trending up, gold, that is going to get I worse and worse. I haven't seen this EA open more than six trades. I haven't seen it open more okay, than six just, trades. Okay, so it's just coming way. back to the number of pairs, yes. right? If if you limit, if you set the bot up with yes. max trades of around 20 per pair, you'll still and have, you a have problem. nine or 10. You'll pairs. have a gap here. So let's say, let's say that, you put it at 20, okay? And the currency keeps on trending. So here's your 20th trade. And the currency keeps on trending. Goes up and up and up and up and up. And then lands over here. And now it's got to come down. So it'll come down. Then it'll go up again. Then it'll come down. Then it'll carry on going up. Could take you a year to get back to your, your uh, take profit. Yes, it'll come back. 100% it'll come back. It's called dollar cost averaging. The currency always reverses back to its average mean price. But that could take two to three years for that to do that. So that average mean price is worked out over a 20-year period. Maybe 20 years, maybe 10 years, maybe five years. You can work out your average yeah, mean so, price. But it could take you a so year. So if you 
if you um if you set a max max trades right mm -hmm. then yes those trades will be stuck yes. but if if a, if a, if one pair trends right. and it keeps making trades right and then eventually you have to either put the lot size to 0 0.01 or set the max so it stops making trades because it's it's just going in one direction then you have the same problem and then if you've only got yes but three i don't pairs, do that i don't do that you, if I've got three pairs, I don't set it to max trades of 20. I set it to max trades of 100. Okay. Yeah, I, I see. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. I'm still um, using small lot sizes. So, you know, um, I'll, I'll see how it goes, you know. Okay. And I'll, I think I'll, I'll text. But I, 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 yeah. I still I, can't see why, why having more, a, a lot of pairs limits your exposure because uh, one if one because like i saw that euro usd trended but the other euro pairs were okay so it's it's not it's not like they all go it's like they one do. goes and then they do they, sometimes they all go i think i've got people i think i can i think there's people on this call that can that can agree with me that yes, all the yes. currencies will go, will go mark uh, what I think as well is, is Mark, that even even if the Euro USD trends, it does not go up in a straight line. It goes up and then it retraces a little bit and then it goes up. And and I think that the aim of the robot is, is to get your take profit level as close as to the actual current price level. And if you only said it that it can only open up 20 trades, when it does trend, 20 trades might not be enough to get it close enough. Correct. That's the and problem. It's going to stop then and not trade in the opposite direction to keep your profit for when it returns. Correct. So, so you can't limit it to 20 because it needs maybe 40 to return and then close at a profit. Correct. And, and what I found with the gold EA is, and I think there you need to, to have a very good look at your lot sizes because the gold EA doubles in, in lot size every trade that it opens up. And that's why only with maybe three or four trades open up, the exposure is getting that high. But it really, it returns the, the money very, very quick. I mean, I've... Alan only gave us the gold EA. I, I wasn't sure. Was it on Friday or was it yeah, on Thursday? Friday. Thursday, Friday. And, and I mean, I had a scare on Friday because of the lot sizes that had opened up. Um, uh, but I mean, to this day, I mean, I, I only started last week my account uh, and I, I opened up a micro account and I am up 20% in this from last week to this week. That's and mental. I'm only trying to do, I'm, I'm, I'm only mental. trying to do what the robot is doing. I, I'm not doing anything else. Just your lot sizes must be huge if you're up twenty percent already in two days. So yeah, they, they I mean you were it down. <laughs> you yeah, were it looks so, you know. But my yeah, yeah, so um, I, my, God, my account not... size is sorry, my account size. I, I didn't open up a thousand dollar account. I opened up an eight thousand dollar account. Did we set that EA up together? No, so that... uh, oh, sorry, did we set that EA up together. Did you do it on your own? Uh, yeah, yeah, you loaded it up for me, uh, okay. Alan. Okay. Yeah, those lot sizes were big. So you've yeah. calmed it down. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, especially on the Who's gold on the gold one. Who, no, who's... this is Lawrence. Okay, Lawrence. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Mark. Yeah, I mean it's just saying? it's 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 just the bad you kind of, you know, my gold EA took out a whole lot of sell orders and then the price went north. So you now I'm just sitting with that, you know. I understand where you where you're at, but um, you must understand what this gold EA does, Mark. This gold EA is a hedging EA. Do you understand hedging? You can explain it to me. Okay, so it starts with a buy and a sell together. It opens two trades: one buy, one sell. Okay, so let's say the currency goes north. The buy trade will take profit and open up another 
new buy trade. The cell will open up another cell bigger than the first cell. Double the lot size. Double the lot size. Okay. So yeah, this is what's happened. Let me show you. This is where the, the robot started over here. Point one. Okay. It opened two trades. It opened a buy over here, a buy and a sell over here. The currency went here to 0 0.2. The buy order closed and a new buy order opened, but a new sell order opened as well. Your profit from your buy order, okay, covers the loss of your sell order. Okay. Okay. So you've taken two profits here. The current one profit here. Uh, your sec, then it goes up again. Your second buy order closes and another sell order opens. Okay. Now you've got two um, buy, buy trades that have closed in profit, which will cover maybe one and a half of these trades. Not everything. Okay. So that's why the drawdown is so low on my FX blue of half a percent because I've taken, I've taken profit. So yeah, it's closed probably four or five buy orders. Okay. And then it carries on going north. When it reverses down, okay, that, that buy order will now open another buy order. And another buy order. By the time it comes down here, your drawdown is the same. It's level. It's hedged. Your drawdown right. isn't moving that much because you've got equal buys to sells. So it sort of balances out. Does it make sense? Yeah. So I only went up to the sixth level because the lot sizes looked scary. Right. Do you, rec do you yeah. recommend that or do you recommend going all the way to the 12th level? All the way to the twelfth level. Yeah, you must. You must not stop it. You must you leave it stop on. It. Rather, make it smaller lot sizes. And, and you don't stop it. Cash flow to 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 fund it. I'm not saying increase your lot sizes. I'm, I said to you originally, you've got cash flow. Be careful with your lot sizes. In case you get it wrong, you've got cash flow to fund your account. Yeah. Yeah. Mark, that okay. is exactly what happened to me on that Friday. As I said, I mean, uh, uh, I saw it trading at lot seven. Yeah, I think Alan said he saw it never opens up maybe more than six, maybe seven. So yeah. lot size seven was already quite a big, and that's where I got the scare as well. And then I went back to the EA and I set up the starting lot size and I'm made it smaller because it doubles on every trade. Yeah. So you you have a, you have it started on 0 0.1. That's so maybe why, just go and have a look at that. That's yeah. why your account, yeah. that's why you're worried about gold because of this gap. Yeah. This gap shouldn't be here. Mm. Okay, so let's just Yeah, it, it would have closed. Yeah. 100% it would have closed. So let me just expand here. Yeah. Um, get some candles in here. And uh, let's just minimize it. A bit. I'm going to just change the, the time frame here to a uh, 15 minute. We'll change it back. I just want to see what's going on. It's, uh, it's not a, not a problem. Yeah, you see, you should have had trades here and here. When this thing retraced down to here, all, your, bar, all your cells would have, would have closed. All your cells would have closed. You've limited this to, to six. Okay. Yeah, you've limited it to six. So, yeah, I wouldn't. That's why. That's why you concern. Uh, Alan, if you go back there, just open that up again. I think there's a problem as well. The lot started there, and the, the lot number one uh, is also yeah, not correlating, well, and that must that's be also a problem. I just caught that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. Okay. You've set up your EA incorrectly. This lot and lot started needs to be the same. They both okay. need to be okay, identical. So that's why yeah. your okay. EA is also like it's confused. Your, okay. your take profit okay, is more the way. So let me just have a look okay. here. Um, let me just see what your story is yet. Um, so what's it? $50. 
Uh, the sales are at fifty-eight dollars, I think he said. Well, I think we can check it. Fifty-eight, fifty-nine dollars. Yeah. Uh, Alan, just quickly. Uh, this uh, this is going to cost you money, Mark. This is going to cost you money. If I, if this was my, close it up and I tear it up. My, I would close my gold trades, lose the fifty-eight dollars, and restart the robot and do it properly. That's what I would do, because by the time this thing reverses. Could be a week. You'll make that fifty-eight dollars back in two days. Mm -hmm. So you you you're going to lose on the swings, and you're going to make up on the roundabout. That's what's going to happen, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I would, and, yeah. and and I think even even if you are doubtful about the gold EA, uh, close it, set it up that it trades on the minimum exactly. uh, lot size that it can, so that you just check it out and see how it works for a week. And then you look at the take profit that you had from it. And then you see, okay, so if my lot size was bigger, the profit would have been bigger. Or if it's at a loss, you would say, listen, at least it was small. But then you trust the robot, the yeah. EA. Right, okay. I just want to change your uh, uh, back to one minute, yeah. But that's, if this was my account, I'd close out the gold and reset up the robot. That's what I would do. Okay, so this is a very good call, guys. Um, this this is very valuable to everybody. Uh, Alan, I, 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 where did you open that exposure uh, window? Okay, so it's yeah, so it's under the indicators. So it's under the indicators. Okay. And All right, yes. Called I Explore. So it just tells you you just drag it onto any chart, and uh, you can just hover over hover your mouse over the horizontal line until you get the two arrows, and then you can just drag. All right. Thanks. See exactly what your exposure is. Okay. It's a lack of little okay. tool. Very lack of tool. So, sorry, guys. I got to go. It's okay, nice. Well, Load thanks. shedding is about to eat. Yeah. No problem. Thanks for okay. your input. So, so, uh, is there anybody no else that wants okay. to comment? Thanks. No, it's all right, Alan. I'm just going to try and put this thing on my phone so that I can, during the day, still uh, start closing profits with uh, the old losses right, that I yeah, have 100%. to get ED down. Okay, cool. All right, everybody. Well, thanks so much for the call. Really appreciate your time. I hope that this has been uh, um, educational and will help you to get your drawdown lower in the next couple of weeks. And I really appreciate you coming onto the call and we'll see you on the next meeting. Signing off. Thanks okay, a lot. Thanks. We'll speak soon. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.